Greetings, Jide from Children Records. Today, a new series called Dub Gears, and the first episode will be about Benny Dub Digital Echo. So, of course, we have an input, physical input, only wet output, and a dry wet output. From the left, we have the modulation section with uh, depth and rate. We have the loop on off. After it, we have a linear or quantized switch. On the second row, we have the feedback, the general uh, volume, and the filter section, so high pass and low pass. So this is a delay box, but you have the delay is really this. Okay, speed, feedback, and volume, and you have two other, like engine, one for the modulation, and the other is a, a filter. And we have also an on-off switch here. It becomes red when it's uh, off and it will cut the echo. And if you use the dry wet output, it will cut only the echo. So it's very, very interesting. Uh, you can find on the web uh, some video from Benidub. They use it, they make a, a crazy demo. The guy is using even this uh, mute switch as an effect like for chop off some part of the signal in the feedback pass. So let's go into the detail of the function. Put a bit of echo on my mic and um, a slow speed. Disengage this and, for example, dub wise, dub wise, dub wise, dub wise, dub wise. Okay, dub now wise, I dub cut wise, the dub loop. wise, dub 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 wise. As example, normally when we mix dub, when we can, we have separated tracks, for example, for the drum, kick, hi hat, and snare. But some of the time, I'm working with just one drum bus, stereo, or mono, and I still want to echo the drum. I will make the example. Filter open. Yes, 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 full bounce. bounce, bounce, bounce. And if I put only the delay, 
so you can hear the filter of the delay. Okay, originally it, it was this. And when you will play with the um, high cut or low pass filter, it will be more about uh, really come closer to a tape emulation. Yes, because particularity of the tape, the sound is degrading uh, with time and it affects first the high frequency. So the original feedback of the machine Okay, so very great. When the filter is open, it don't degrade. It's like a 100 digital thing. Okay, proper. And if we use the filter, same way if I put the filter on the other side, I mean leaving all the high frequencies and cutting some lows, the more the feedback will go into the machine and the more it will cut frequencies. But in the high frequency direction. This modulation section is uh, something uh, you can find on most of the echo. You have this because uh, on the first model they wanted also to keep the aspect of the tape echo and sometimes tape echo was a bit tired and was moving in time. So they had a modulation section so we can emulate it. So let's try it. So okay, you can go from the simple tape, I mean like a low depth and uh, a slow rate will emulate like a discrete tape or not too tired tape machine. And you can go in crazy style by pushing. So when we are on one and we set it to a BPM, we normally are on the value of this BPM. We have minimum like 50 and maximum 100. If your track is above 100, you choose generally to, to get it on the half tempo. A quick tip, I generally use it on the half tempo most of the time because you understand that if I go on 60 instead of 120, I cover more speed with this. Let's put it to the speed of the track and do a test. Quantize style with this switch on, on quantize. As you can hear, we are on the time. the most low I could get. As you hear, when I change the speed on this knob, 
when the quantized mode is uh, engaged, it, it don't react as when it's not engaged, okay? We hear the jump in between the speed. They are more close. It's a great effect too, so we have three sounding of uh, the way the machine will react when we move the time. We have this one, like that. We have this one. Okay, and the last one, the one I prefer is this one. Using this one to change the speed. Now we will try linear mode. So the first linear mode you can use resemble to this one. I mean, uh, you set it to uh, the tempo or the half of the tempo of your music here to get the exact value of each segment because you see on this box each segment are very large. But if you have, want to have strictly the same value, you have to choose the right tempo and being at the start of this segment. So for example, if you want to be at one, multiply by one, you will set your knob at the start of this segment. And if you want 0 0.75, you will be at the start of this segment, okay? So this is very interesting mode because you can set it great and you know that after and before the right point, you can groove your delay. So this is why I say this thing is versatile. Let's go and try it. So let's find the right speed we want. Okay. This is in linear mode, not quantized. And I have the same result. Okay, let's switch on the quantize. Okay. So as I said, the quantize, when it is engaged, I can go through all the segment and it will change just at the start of the other one. Okay? But when you are in linear mode and you set it, as I said, like it's analog mode, a kind, at the start of the segment, you remove it. You have all those possibilities of grooving your echo. You understand? Yeah. Let it be more obvious like this. I think this is one of the techniques described, the three techniques I see, A, B, and C in the Benidub Digital Echo Manual. Let's forget what is written on it, leave it on linear mode, and you just try to get your speed, get the right speed you want. And when you find it, normally it's okay. This is acceptable, okay? And when I have it like this, I can... And when I'm at 12 o'clock, as I said, this is the right speed. So another variation of this one, I say, okay, why not trying to find the right tempo while keeping it on the quantize? So that way, I see that if I set it quantize and I take care of information here, I will try to find the right speed I want with this one. Okay, because my goal in this, I want to try the right speed into the area, this area of the BPM knob. For example, I want to capture some sound, and what I want to do with this sound is to bring it near to the lower octave. I tried it from the midpoint to here, but it's too short. It's like we have to have a 
like a half region, you know, if I'm here, I have to go straight from here, okay? So like um, half circle. I see that setting this quantized knob in the 125 area give a good result for finding the speed in this area. And it find quick, okay? So that way I can do something like this, for example. Okay, and I find back my original signal even in quantized mode. Okay, so perhaps I will do an episode on other echoes that I had or I still have in the studio if you get interested in it. Let me know into the comments, the wise. <laughs>